All right. I think we're recording. Well, all right, folks. Here's one of my beautiful automatic machines, Hardinge, and uh, I'm making a part. It'll be used in motorized bicycles soon. Developing a new product, which will probably be copied. But here's how I make um, some of the special hex nuts. Just put in a new bar, a six foot bar, hex stock. And this is another old school way that parts were made before computers, before electrical electronics. We used to make stuff with simpler machines. And they were, and still are, pretty reliable. There it faces the part, and now it's drilling. One of the tap drill size. Well, this is a machine that I get to just babysit every once in a while, and it pretty reliably makes parts all day long. Now we're turning the hex stock off. And there's another tap drill size, slightly different size at the far end of the uh, of the part. And these machines are pretty cool because you can do multiple operations, machine cutting operations, turret and cross slide at the same time. It's pretty pretty cool. Most CNC machines aren't twin turret, but some are. I'm sure the Chinese probably have top of the line twin turret machines. There's a tap, forming tap. That one's making a fine thread, metric fine thread. And then last, the part cycle is the uh, part shoot and the parting tool. That's the first stop. And then there's actually a hand turret lathe operation I do on the second operation for it. So yeah, yeah it's a lot of work. Um, it's a lot of work to make parts these these old fashioned way. But it's the kind of machinery I can afford. Hope you thought that was interesting. I love watching this machine run. It's pretty cool. Bye.